Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, May 23rd. President Obama is defending his policy on the use of drones, but he's also scaling that policy back. The president's policy speech today outlined new plans to sharply cut back cases when unmanned planes can be used to conduct attacks outside of war zones. The policy will also shift control of the drone strike program from the CIA to the U.S. military. In his speech, the president also announced plans to beef up security at U.S. embassies in the wake of last year's fatal attack in Benghazi, Libya. And Obama renewed his desire to close the prison camp at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Tomorrow is an important day for the gay rights movement and for the Boy Scouts of America. The Scouts will vote at their annual meeting on whether to allow openly gay youths to become members. About 1,400 delegates are gathered in the town of Grapevine, Texas for the vote. If it's approved, openly gay youths could become scouts, but the organization would continue to bar gay adults from being scout leaders. Since the scouts are a private membership organization, the Supreme Court ruled more than a decade ago that it's free to admit or exclude whomever it wants. Four people are now under arrest in London in the murder of a British soldier that's being called a terrorist attack. A radical Islamist and an accomplice were arrested at the scene of the stabbing. The man shouted threats to kill other average citizens as long as British troops are killing Muslims in places like Afghanistan. Another man and woman were arrested today as part of what authorities are calling a conspiracy. British Prime Minister David Cameron said the UK would not bow to terrorism. He called the attack a betrayal of Islam. And it was back to the Middle East today for Secretary of State John Kerry. He's trying to restart peace talks between the Israelis and Palestinians. Kerry met in Jerusalem with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and said he was happy with the seriousness Netanyahu had for getting talks going again. He met later with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. A Palestinian official was quoted later as saying the expectations for peace remain low because Palestinians view Kerry as trying to accommodate the Israelis, not pressure them. That's your political news roundup for Thursday, May 23rd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.